see a, a big influx of people here uh, that just jumped on on the second hour. So thank you. We're about to do a, a deep dive into the museum, which is one of the brand new features that was recently added this week to Dominations. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the origins of, of the museum and where the idea came from. So you said that you, you pitched this idea to the team. Yeah. Nothing like this has existed in Dominations before. It's a completely new system. So how do you go from sort of dreaming it up to actually bringing it in front of the team and making it become a reality? So the museum itself has kind of been an idea that's been kicked around within the team for a while. I mean, it like the game is a historical game. Like it's based on history. I think that's what a lot of our players love. That's what a lot of us developers love. Uh, the fact that we can look for and surface some of that uh, lesser known and actually celebrate some of the well-known history. So the museum made perfect sense for that. Um, and then basically we wanted to come up with a large feature that would give players a lot of uh, gameplay. They can sort of incorporate it into their normal day-to-day -day routine. Uh, you can build on it slowly. You don't have to worry about uh, maxing it out right away. Um, everybody else is going to be doing the same thing of slowly building it up. Uh, and also uh, basically just showing off the really cool art. Like that's the, the art is really thing, cool yeah. and yeah. Uh, Maggie dominates in chat kind of gave a shout out to the art team and um, you know all all the art that I encounter I absolutely love um, I have a question sort of as a history nerd like how do you guys like these artifacts are from all over the place but yeah. how did you guys go about choosing the ones that you chose because there's some really deep cuts where like I mm -hmm. like like who is that person and what is that? Like, we, we joked, like, Nap Napoleon's shoes is sort of like, I don't know if it's in the game, it's probably. There's a Napoleon yeah. artifact. Yeah, there's yeah, a Napoleon absolutely. artifact. Very yeah, I, nice. think, I think the other, like, cool part to mention here is that, like, in history, there's, like, three really big parts that you can showcase. There's places, which we have all of our buildings, we have all of our wonders. Um, there's people, which are big deep dive for that as our generals and our university. And then there's things. And this is finally getting all of the really cool Ooh. things that exist in history into Ooh. the game with this. And I know that like at least when we were developing it, like basically everybody threw out ideas of different stuff that we wanted to do. Yeah, the, the team oh really pitched in and uh, suggested a lot of artifacts. And we have a very diverse team here. So we got artifacts from all over the world that were suggested. And then um, a small group of designers got together and looked at that list, pared it down. Uh, did some deep dive into the research to get more of a historical basis, uh, and then we selected those artifacts uh, for the initial release, and there's currently over 50 unique artifacts.